Okay, hi everybody. Sorry, uh, give me a second to get up and going. So I wanted to take a few minutes today. This will probably be my last video um, for a week and a half. I am getting a new job next week. So what we're gonna show you here is this is my seven inch wet tile saw that I got from Harbor Freight a a several years ago. And this is what I use for shaping my stones. So what you start with is a slab. So a slab is just a rock that's been cut in half or cut sliced. And then I'm going to go ahead and shape it like a circle. Okay. And then I'm going to also show how to take a stone like this. that's very uneven and shape it so that it comes out like this. So the first stone here, this one is a Lucky Strike Thunder Egg. This is California Poppy Jasper. And these both are Rainbow Chert from Utah. So give me just a second. I'm gonna set up the camera so that it'll film. Uh, Haha, uh -huh. so, so, so sorry about that. Okay, so I'm going to get my camera set up here. There we go. Ah, to do it. Sorry about all the noise in the background. Okay. Live feeds are so much fun. Always unpredictable what's going to happen. Okay, so it will get pretty loud um, when I'm running the saw itself. So I'm so sorry about that. I only run it for as long as I, know I need to. Now, with this first stone, this one, I am going to cut a circle and I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll show you how to level the edges. Okay, saw's going on. So you don't want to try to cut curved lines when you're doing this. You want to just cut a bunch of short, straight lines. about this blade it doesn't cut your fingers it will chew off your fingernails though Okay, so I've got the circle cut out, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and go around the whole outside edge and just make sure it's nice and even looking.
I've done is I've just gone around the whole thing, made it into a nice little circle. Now, uh, flat, just like this, because I'm gonna tumble it. So all I'm doing is lightly touching the edge to the edge of the solid. And what this does is it will keep it from cracking and chipping and breaking when it's in the tumbler. Now if I were to polish this one by hand, I wouldn't do both the top and the bottom. The top would get a nice shape. the top and once it gets polished in the tumbler oh that spot that is all broken and cracky that needs to get fixed okay so so this is the front so this will go in the tumbler just like this and then we'll come out now to move on to this one, this one is very uneven, so what I want to do, the first thing I want to do is try to even it out by going around, see I can see that it's about that thin on this side, so I'm going to try and make it about that thin on this side as well.
an old Russian saying from back home. It says, necessity is the mother of invention. And if you don't have a big fancy, uh, you know, Cab King or one of those machines, you will find a way to make it work if that's something you want to do. I've worked on a lot prettier stones with a lot more archaic uh, spas. the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grind around just the edge, just barely on the edge here, just to keep it from tipping, cracking, and breaking. side of the stone to help keep that stone stabilized. You could drop it. That would work as well. To drop a stone just means that you're putting a, um, a stick on the back side of it to hold on to it. I find it's easier for me to get in there with my fingers. You can see this stone was docked at one point. I still have the glue on there. Okay, so next I'm going to move over to the Dremel. I'm going to turn this off for now. any of the big rock chunks, throw them away, dry up my equipment. I'm going to try to get a little bit extra dirt off. I'm not going to worry about it today. Okay. So I'm going to sit here next to the machine and you're going to see what I'm just going to go around the outside. I'm just going to go around the outside and any of the flat spots will get smoothed off. 
and then I will just go around the whole thing. I'll try to get some of that glue off as well. Now when I do this, it sometimes leaves metal lines, which I go back and I get off with the mini. I'm just going in circular motions around the, the Dremel. Just go in a nice circle, side to side, up and down, trying to get rid of any flat spots. Okay, so fortunately this stone does have a tendency to pit and crack quite a bit. So you can see that there is some pitting on this one. So see the holes all throughout there. There are things that you can do. I'm not, I'm using this just for demonstration purposes, so I'm not going to worry about it. But if I was going to be using it for, um, to sell, then I would um, not use this one. So now what I can do is I can take my little Dremel Micro and go over it. And this is an 80 grit sandpaper from Harbor Freight. And I'm just going to go back and get all of the metal lines off. And this will also help soften up any edges. I guess I should have plugged it in before I started. So I'm just going to go around the whole thing. Sand off all those little ma uh, metal marks from the Dremel. Yeah. And then I'll just go and do the edge on the back to help keep it from breaking. And the back. All right, so that is how I made that. So this one hasn't been polished yet. This is also the um, rainbow chert. So you can see with this one, nice dome at edge. Okay, now it just needs a good polish. This one also has some pitting. It's a, just a common issue with this type of stone. So thank you for watching. Um, I will be back in a couple weeks with new videos and updates. And until then, keep grinding.